guys, this is just the um, video I was talking about in my last video. I was going to do about comparing the planner I'm currently using to the Erin Condren planner. This planner is the Ladybird Deluxe Planner and it's available at Barnes & Noble. I paid $17 for this planner in store, but it is also available online for $15.25 or $0.29. Cents. Um, so if you wanted to order it online or you don't have a Barnes & Noble close to you, that's a good way of doing this. I'd also like to start out this video saying I'm no way sponsored by Barnes & Noble or the company that makes this planner. Okay, so the Erin Condren planner is something that really has sparked my interest in. Um, at the end of when this planner runs out, I still plan on getting an Erin Condren planner, but for the time being, I really like this planner. It's working well for me. I can use it for everything I want to use it for, and probably then some. So I want to quickly go over the differences between this planner and the Erin Condren and see if maybe this is a planner that if you're not so sure about getting an Erin Condren, maybe this is something that would work for you instead of the little planners that we tend to find at like Walmart and Target and you know Walgreens and places such as that. So um, first off the Erin Condren planner measures 7.25 inches wide by 9.25 inches high. This planner measures um, 9 inches across and 10 inches high and it measures 0 .90 inches in width. I wasn't able to find like a, you know, width, kind of not width, um, depth um, measurement for Erin Condren, but as you can take things in and out of their planner so frequently and easily, it's probably hard for them to give you a definitive measurement in that area. Alright, so when you first open this planner, you will see it has a pocket on the side, which is my keep it together pocket like the Erin Condren has built into theirs. Now, it doesn't look like maybe, you know, to the naked eye, it's probably like the best pocket ever, but it's actually pretty sturdy. I'm in and out of it on a daily basis because it's where I like to keep my stickers and like reminder notes and stuff like that. Um, I have them taken out for the video because... I was, this is like the fourth time I filmed this and my stickers just kept going everywhere as I was trying to flip pages, so I kind of got mad and just yanked them out. Um, normally they don't, it doesn't bother me that much, but when you're trying to film a video and you're doing things one handed, it can get kind of, you know, tricky. So the first page is like a personal information page, which I, is why I have it covered because I do have some of it filled out, but down here it had a, uh, information section that I just covered up with some washi tape and labeled contacts because it was for like credit cards so in case they got lost or stolen or whatever it had the card and you could write the car, um, card no company's number right here and I just decided to like use it for some important contacts because this planner doesn't have a contacts section like Erin Condren's planner does um, and now I believe Erin Condren has uh, put that into the perpetual calendar with like the birthday section and everything. So they still include one, but this calendar doesn't have one to begin with. So that was a, just a good way for me to use, utilize that space. Okay. So we have a two year spread here and a holiday calendar which tells you what days each holiday falls on for 2015 and 2016. I find this very very helpful actually. And then we have a monthly spread and I actually want to go to a month that I don't really have anything done on yet just because just for the purpose of this video. Okay so here's what it looks like just plain without all my silly decoration on it. Um, you get a calendar on the side here, which I don't understand why it includes the month that you are currently on, because you're looking right at it. You don't need it again over here, but it includes the previous month and the four months afterwards. And one thing about this is I'd rather just have a notes column here if I could change anything about this, um, or one of the things I'd change about this is I'd have a notes column here because I just don't find this necessary or helpful at all. 
Um, and the re one of the reasons I don't find it helpful is they repeat it on the top of every page, um, every right-handed page on the weekly spread. And on the weekly spread, you get two to-do columns, which I really love because you can, like, washi tape over them or put a sticker over them and use them for whatever you want. I find these really helpful. I really like them. And no, that's not a water spot. It's like one of the little decorations, like, is over here. Um, but, so this is one of the um, differences between this planner and the Erin Condren. I'm sorry, I'm kind of, like, kneeling on the floor here. But Erin Condren has, like, a note section that goes across the bottom and then a column for each day. This is set up very, like, academically. Like, a smaller planner just on a larger scale. I do like the amount of room that you're given because I write really large and it's hard for me to write in smaller planners. So I really, really appreciate the amount of room this planner gives. Also, I like how there's like, you know, some space right here above each day because I can put like birthday reminders or bill reminders or whatever for that day on there and they really stand out to me being up there. Also, Saturday and Sunday are combined in the weekly spread on this. I don't like that. We never do anything on Saturday. We always do stuff on Sunday. It's usually a pretty busy day for us because it's one of my husband's usually only days off for the week. And, um, like, he doesn't, he works, uh, long, long shifts. So, he doesn't have very much time off. And this is generally when we get to do stuff we didn't have any time to do during the week. So, I would have preferred these days to be separated which what I do is just put washi tape down the center of them that way I could have had a full um, a full box for each day but I understand it probably just didn't fit that way in the layout okay so moving on another reason a lot of people like the Erin Condren planner is because it comes with stickers this comes with two sheets of stickers, like reminder stickers for birthdays and calls and school functions and all that kind of good stuff. This sheet is different than this sheet, but um, some of the, I think, call stickers and don't forget stickers were put over here on this sheet. Then this, instead of having the zip pocket like the Iron Condren, you get a... Uh, business card holder sheet with 10 spaces for business cards. You could use these for pictures, coupons, whatever. There's plenty of ways to utilize these. And the last thing is the built-in uh, Keep It Together band. Now, in Erin Condren, unless you buy the Platinum or Gold Edition, it doesn't come with a band. This one is built right in, and if you don't want to use it, you could keep it flipped around the back cover like I have it here. I do find this helpful, and I even bookmark pages with it. But, just for the purpose of this video, I had it, like, shoved around back. And if you didn't like this at all, you could probably just cut it off. But it is on there pretty well. I don't see it going anywhere. And, I just enjoy having it. So, that was everything as quickly as I could put it together for the Ladybird Deluxe Planner from Barnes & Noble. I will have information linked in the description box. And I hope you found this video helpful. Bye, guys.